Hello. Let's uh, enjoy a new game. And uh, black again. Let's play 4-4, four, four, see what our opponent does. No cross for Seki. Uh, with this one, maybe Kobayashi again. Or maybe just Orthodox. I didn't play Orthodox in a while, so let's uh, try that. Or maybe the some mini Chinese, although I'm not too familiar with the mini Chinese. Um, but our opponent approaches, so no Orthodox, no Chinese. I think he will honey. I will pull back, he will enclose, I will cut. I'm inspecting that. I will pull back, he will play somewhere around here. Because, indeed, taking Gote would be uh, not smart uh, in this case. So let's cut now. And let's um, extend to uh, begin capturing the stone. And now I want to... Um, I could approach, or else my opponent will get a double wing. I could get myself a framework on the side. I like that idea. Playing low, I don't know. I rather I played here for influence, so playing high would be nice. Uh, let's see. I think my opponent could then play a double wing a or Chinese and I will go for this side and we will continue this framework development. So let's do a framework game. Uh, or he will approach. Okay. And also I will approach. Uh, he pincers high and far away. Also too far... Uh, okay, let's not get crazy. Um, could play here. But then... Um, I have no counterattack on this stone, so this move... I don't like playing in the corner. He will separate me. I will jump. I mean, he will not enclose. Uh, yeah, he will most definitely play c4 here. And get sente, and with sente he will enclose. Mm, I kind of don't like that. Um... I could play... Oh, this is difficult. Um, so many wrong choices and maybe this is a mistake. But this stone is really hard to kill. So I have the corner, I have jumping up, I have maybe some halfway leaning or some sacrificing to reduce. Let's play here and if he descends, let's make a base then. Because I don't like uh, giving him senti to continue building up. So let's do this. This is nice, a uh, nice move. Let's see what happens. He will kick, I will extend, now he will need to jump, and already um, the corner is still open, 
there is still a hole here and I kinda wanna make a base here he made me heavy so I will want to connect it at some point and this uh, again he kicks what's uh, with all the kicking I don't know uh, I could attach and try to connect all of this I like this idea if I jump up he will also jump up then the connection is a little bit more difficult so just this one Let's see, if I jump up and he jumps up and I play here, then this is a connection. He can seal off the corner in Sente. Uh, there are a few holes here. Let's jump up. Uh, I guess he will jump up as well. Uh, or he will do something different. Now let's continue my jumping up by enclosing. Or is there a better move? I guess let's uh, take his move away. If he captures the stones but uh, gives me more Archie in the corner, that will be fine. And if I build influence here then this hole, this hole and this co uh, hole will come into life and will be reduced to nothing. Uh, and here's the question, do I jump up? He will jump up, I will jump up, he will connect. I will again enclose him, we will have some fighting. If I just play here um, he will maybe just do something like this and leave me a cut, but I am in more trouble here. So yes, if I jump up, he jumps, I jump. If he protects here, I can close. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Some uh, fighting going on here. He can't allow me playing this move, so he will need to jump up. And I will jump up as well. Now will he protect and take this, his points? Yes, then I will again uh, wrap around him. Maybe I can develop this later, after maybe some shoulder hits here. Uh, this is an interesting position. Uh, although I think if my group is safe, then here is a peep, here is a peep, corner is gone. Um, And do I play here and let him push me to my group? I like this. If I play somewhere around here, he will jump. Uh, capturing the stone. I think I like this move better because then this hole becomes uh, easier. I think I want to peep at some point here to protect my uh, cuts. <clears throat> and again some jumping.
Now I'm waiting for the right moment to invade the corners. As soon as this group is alive, I can play this move and not worry about the B5 connection. So, I mean, the B5 connection will be meaningless, uh, meaningless for uh, white. Or I could play those right now. I will need to worry about my uh, stones here. They have one eye. And of course, with leaning, they could get a second one, but I, but I want to exploit the hole. If I want to exploit the hole, then I need to be strong first. Could play here for strength. Uh, for uh, life. Um, I don't see that as really helpful. It helps me, <laughs> of course. And this also helps me, doesn't it? Ah, I see, he protected his cut. And now he wants to uh, cut here. So if I play this, he will cut. Uh, I... Could play here, then this is a letter which obviously goes to white. So I play here, he cuts. I play here, he extends, I extend. He ha. I think uh, I still want him to be disconnected. And I want to. Play here, he will push, I will protect, he will push, I will just follow along. He still will need to worry about uh, his life here, and this move already helped me. And now he has to worry about those stones. Uh, what's the shape here? Is this the shape? Maybe. Uh, and does this one kill? Uh, honey? Extend. Honey. Extend. Honey. Extend. Uh, like this idea. So it's uh, some sort of net. Uh, but again, here is a Atari. So if I play here, he Ataris. If I connect, he captures my stones. So if he Ataris, I will protect. He will capture. I will protect. He will connect. And we will go from there. So I will give him this one stone. To um, connect myself up. And then make some um, I could be sane and play here. I protect my cut, he captures my stones, I descend, I got nice profit, I got a safe group. He got uh, just the four stones. Uh, still nothing here, so I can wait this later. Or I can go for super aggressive and saying I'm saving those stones, this cut is useless. I go for the safe method, everyone is happy. I'm not fighting this. Obviously, he got into my framework with this move, uh, with those moves. 
But let's go with everyone safe and uh, both players still have holes in their uh, frameworks. Also, I have moves for eyes here and then continuing this or this way. Or is he going super greedy and plays L3 and then we have this huge fight which favors black? I will like this. Go super greedy, mister, and see what happens. Or just go for sanity and uh, capture the stones. Obviously for me later this move is uh, nice. But not now. I kind of just want to go uh, to take the corner and after he jumps up I exploit the hole here. Uh, he kind of goes for this greedy approach uh, but on a larger scale uh, gives me more Argy. Thanks for the Argy. And I will get nice profit. He really wants me to take my profits, and I will. I expected this profit to be goatee, and now I'm strong here. He will exploit some holes or continue building up. Both uh, valid ideas. Maybe this move was too small, but I kind of wanted my, uh, you know, profit. Now I have forcing moves here. And also forcing moves uh, here. Um, how do I want to do this? If I block this way, he will... Uh, maybe... Maybe... Maybe I can get the corner, some of it. With Q18. I want some of the corner. Would be nice. I have a nice corner here. And also forcing move to forcing moves to make 15 points around here. This one I will block. And this one I will protect. And this one too. And now the question becomes do I play here or here or here? I think I play here and threaten to invade. I leave a cut here. But with some RG here, I think there is not a big problem. And this cut I can fix with some leaning. Um, yes. Also, cut fixing. And he answers. Um, I'll continue here, threatening to enclose this group. I guess he will jump once. Now this move becomes uh, nearly useless for me, after he jumps. Uh, 
I myself uh, could have some invasions here. Uh, still no points for me in the corner because he peeps, I connect, he drops down, I drop down, uh, he threatens to connect and he's basically alive. So still no points for me here. Um, if I play here, this is just giving him points. Uh, now for my invasions. Could just uh, jump into the corner. Yeah, he drops down, I play up. Let's start with this move. Oh, I have so much RG around here. <laughs> I really wonder how it will develop. And I assume it will develop pretty badly for me. <laughs> but let's see. And it's also correct for White not to Atari here. Because then it fixes my corner, all the RG is gone. Yeah, would be not a good idea. Let's continue peeping and play the corner move then. Uh, he disagrees on that. Um, still the corner move is there. Uh, but he did not protect the peep. So if I pull up, play here, he pulls down, I play here. So if I pull up, his only response is to block me. Then I play here. And I guess if he connects, I connect, then he will need to capture the stone. I guess this uh, still works. Maybe I'm misreading something, but uh, let's see. Usually white protects and not separates. Because separating this stone, I don't know, black still has... Uh, this move, uh, those are just 10 points, so never mind. And I just will be glad to take the corner away and still have some Archie here. Oh, if I could read, <laughs> could I play this move and get away with it? I guess I can't. Can I play this move and get away with it? I so would like to play here now. Um, so if he descends, good for me. If he blocks. Then I play here. He can honey from this side. I play here, he will extend. I play here, he will connect. Oh, so difficult. Just playing here is just so goaty. Um, let's see whether this works. So. Sorry, Let's see. I want to know.
need to have uh, some confidence in your reading and see <laughs> whether it pays off or not. So he plays here now. Now here, I guess. If I throw in... No, I will not throw in. Maybe he plays here now. I don't know. I really don't. Ah, uh, well, if he just plays here now, I can Tani this way because he then just lives. And I'm completely uh, connected here, so don't wor uh, no need to worry about those stones. Uh, and see, if I play here and he just lives, can I kill this, uh, those stones? This would be really cute. I play here, he lives. I play here, he Ataris. I protect, he Ataris. I play here. Or do I play here first and see what, how he will respond? I guess I'll play here first. Maybe my invasion was not too good in the corner. I maybe should have just gone with the usual corner reduction. Now my main goal became to get Senti here. And if I play here, he will just descend. And uh, yeah, this will be also gone. So I want to play here. And uh, yeah. Maybe this was Goaty, huh? He captures... Oh, he goes for uh, a lot more. Um, so, I play here. Or, or do I play here? Uh, both uh, moves are interesting. If I play here, he will just descend, maybe. Then I go for the spot. Connect. One, two, three, four to one, two, three. First, I want to play here. And then make this false. And he plays here, I capture first, but again we have this throw in, the call and the Tari. So I think there is nothing here. I think this was a really bad corner invasion. Or maybe not, maybe if you play here, I play... Oh no... Maybe not, maybe not... So just for some code threads, well, let's uh, forget about it. Um, what can I do here? Uh, I can play this one. And I will. And after he plays something around here, I will 
honey because the letter variations favors me so I like he will not so he will see whether he can kill my group this is the only sane explanation for the kick And I want to connect, or maybe he will make this empty triangle shape, but I don't know. Uh, looks like a bad shape here. If he plays triangle to cut, I have the Atari, and I have here some influence to connect to. Still no idea how to use the Aji here. It is there. It is most definitely there. What about this move? He connects, I Atari, nothing happens. Uh, I play here, he connects, bad move. I will just connect my stones. So this was a successful reduction. Uh, now to reduce this. I'll start with the peep. Maybe I can separate those stones, I don't know. But I certainly would like to. Or could I separate this stone and then get some Aji and uh, use some Aji and maybe build up the center? This would be nice. This was kinda a failure. <laughs> I regret that did not read out and just had to go with simple corner catch. Oh well. Hope to get more lucky the next time. Ah, he goes this way. So if I play here... I play here and we will have this. Then he will cut. Interesting. Most certainly interesting. I play here and we have this exchange. Then I play here, he continues. I play here, he Ataris. And I don't care about the Ataris, so he will just play there, here. And here, and he will capture my stone. I guess it works. So, I will not do that. I will just honey. Don't want to reduce uh, one liberty for me here. Looks like uh, I'm not reading, and he does. Good thing to do in your games. My variation, which I wanted to play, does not work. So where are my points? This corner. Where are his points? This corner. One, two. So 30... maybe 32 points here. 
and which way do I tarry this? This way? I guess. And then uh, connect. And not worry about this Atari. Because what do I do with this tiny influence here? Time to get something real. Could play here for 5 points, but that's tiny. Could play here and here and then... nope. So I guess white is ahead now. Uh, and my corner is still uh, not there, so I... Really want to... Get this corner territory. And play some endgame. For him, this is a very nice endgame, I guess, or this. So this is a little smaller than this area. This area is about this one and the corner plus this plus Komi. Ah, it's hard. It's a hard game. I guess here is some end game. Oh, didn't expect this move. More end game for me. Didn't think he will answer that after he is, you know, connected and could play bigger moves. Or does it again threaten the corner? I don't know. We will uh, see about that. Maybe those 10 points are still nice. You know, if I extend. Uh, he will capture, I will protect, and he if he loses senti once, then I use my RG to uh, build up 10 points here, maybe. Or could just play here for the same 10 points. Or this and this one. Hmm. Hmm. He kind of wants just to live there, so he gave me this endgame again. Again, endgame for me. So, what do you know? Um. So I will descend here. And play some end game. He just keeps uh, giving away end game points. Uh, okay, this one fine with me. Reducing one liberty. Not 
not that important, but you know, he will need to capture one stone here. Um, and here I will gladly accept the jump into his, his territory because he is alive and connected and everything he wants. And my next move is nice. However, he seems like a very, very strong, solid player. Uh, sure. Now the scud is gone. And if I get this in Senti, then thank you very much, I guess. Uh, could play here. And that myself Dari. Yeah, we'll play here once more. He will pull back, I guess, and then I can pull back. Or I could play here. I don't know which is bigger, I guess this one. This is a nice move. And for white, I guess this one is a nice move. So far, from my estimation, endgame is going nice for me. And now he will capture. I have also a nice capture here. Or he will capture, I think, about protecting, because his jumping in is as painful as my jumping in was before. So he will capture, I will protect, he will protect, or play here, and then I we have this. Now this move is for white, it's kinda, kinda good, I want to answer that. So I'm really looking forward to get, oh no, um... He does not capture, he answers slowly. So I get the big move. Thank you very much. So with this B1 we see all the solidity uh, White uh, puts into this game, which is really a lot. I want to play here and then make some honey and uh, just continue building those 10 points here. Obviously he captures my stone and the jump in would be huge. And now we will see if I pr uh, connect here, then I get one, two, three, four, five, six points. And if I protect here, I get one, two, three, four, five points. And it will be goaty for him. I kind of like. I kinda like connecting more because more points. He will cut now. And this cut will be senti. Or will it? I don't know. If he cuts, Ayatari. Uh, he plays here. Uh, let's see two possibilities. I play here, he captures, I pull back. Nothing happened. Just a few points. 
uh, those five points I was talking about. If I play here, he will extend. I play here. If he captures, I honey. If he extends down, I play here. He captures. I throw in. I play just the usual move. Nothing fancy here. Uh, which is bigger, this or oh, this one? I guess this one is okay. Now I'm playing with thoughts. Um. Now the corner is really mine with ten points. Uh, can. Oh, I had to play this move around here, I guess. Now this corner. <laughs> yeah, very tiny. Uh, I had to play here, maybe. So, or maybe not, I don't know. Never mind. Um, still want to play this move, and then this honey. And we'll do that now. As long as he cannot cut here, I don't mind him taking a few stones there. So, 10 points for me, yay! Or maybe not, he <laughs> just plays here. Or here, I don't know. If I could get this... No. I have those two moves still. Maybe this doesn't work right now. We will see about that. Yes, this one. Um, first, I want to squeeze <laughs> squeeze an RG out of this. The last remaining RG. He obviously cannot let me bamboo or something. This would be so painful. And I will not play this move, but this one. And then I see whether this stone is dead with moves like this one. Because all it can connect to is this stone. It, this will be really hard to connect to. More forcing moves for me around here. If he captures my stone, I capture his. If he just continues pushing, then... Uh, I don't know where it is going. Um, the question rises, do I play here? No, I kind of don't. I play here. And this stone I played for more RG, I don't need the two stones. I already got my one point here, so he had to protect. Uh, this means I have completely no obligations to give up, uh, to not to give up the one stone I played. However, maybe he will cut now. Only at this one and this one. So you guys see some endgame fighting. <laughs> some good old endgame fighting. 
did not see that in a while. Also time for counting, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Oh, he has about, what, 80 points? And I have less. And yes, thank you, this one. Uh, wait a second, maybe this was a bad move. Atari, protect, place here. Protect, captures. I guess he will get this one stone. And thus connect. So the cut right now. I will need to protect. Maybe some more fancy protect. Oh, he does not go for that. Ah, nice opportunity for me. Thank you. I guess that this could have worked. I guess this really could have worked. He cuts uh, and now there's nothing. Now he will need to some sort of come in. I play here, he comes up. Does it work? No, it doesn't. So I seal this off. Oh, this was a nice endgame for me. Maybe he counted and saw he can give this up and still be ahead. But I don't know. He will capture, I guess. I will protect. He will make some honeys. Or oh, here we have this exchange and he will capture now. Yes, my corner was tiny before and it is tiny again. This move for white, uh, for black, is cute. Cute move. I also kind of like the co idea. And this will be Senti for me, August. Oh, I, I regret that this worked uh, for Black, kind of. Um, I think I was a little bit overplaying there, because my uh, cuts here were too, too bad, too harmful. And guess what? I have one living group. It goes from here to there. Always a nice thing to get to only have just one group. Is there something? I don't I guess not. And is here something? Maybe? Um... 
Yes, here is something. And I will do something against it. Oh, this got me so far behind. This uh, really, really bad failed invasion. There is a co. Mm. And if I win the co, I guess I will play the co now. Kind of in the mood uh, for a co. But where are my threats? He has some threats. Um, this is one of my threats. <laughs> oh, he has so many threats, man. But if I win the call, he will need to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this call could be really large. I mean, I got rid of this one liberty, I forgot about that. So, if I win the call... I kinda thinking call. Um, do I play the call now? No, I don't. And after this, he will most definitely will want to capture the stone. So no call for me here. No call for me. Unfortunately. So going back to those moves. Co for me it is. And after this exchange it becomes so huge. I mean this is this is huge. And I'll be happy just to capture a few stones. It's not like I'm a greedy person and want all of this. And if I protect now, he will play here and we have a bigger co. I play here, he plays here. Co, connect, here, here, here. Cool. Um, on the other hand, if I play co threat and he will answer and capture, wait a second, I protect, he plays here, I play here, and win the call so he will protect, I play here, he plays here, I play here. He can't Atari, so we have this call. And, uh, yeah. Still call. Nothing uh, changed there. If I Atari, and he protects, I play here, he protects. We have again some call situation. But hey, I got him to uh, play... Well, basically, no, I played my stones myself. And now I want something. Like, just a tiny bit of anything. Please. And 
and I continue and he has two liberties, I have three liberties. We And I got one point in the meantime. I will Atari. And now I can do anything I want, like a kit in the candy store. Uh, with no one around, obviously. Um, ah, and I got rid of this Archie here. So, I play here. And he does nothing. I play here. He wants to capture me. I play here. Can I get, can I get away with this? Obviously a very important move, my next one. I can get anything I want. Could just uh, get one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, ten points here. But can I get this? Man, I so want to get this. Here, there's nothing. Here, um, if he cuts. I, Atari, if you place here, I connect and I drop down, place here. Let's get with ten points. Ah, uh, it's so hard. Ah, uh, 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 let's not be greedy and play the 10 point move. 10 points for me. And he did not continue this move here. Why did he play this and not, uh, you know, this one? This is a nice move. Any time. This one here still. Still there on the board. Does he go for code there? No, he does not. And now I have, if I play here... No, I have still one group. He pushes down, I protect. So, as you have seen, this move was a nice one. Maybe nicer than this, but I didn't want some RG to come alive here. <laughs> tiny, tiny corner. It was hit so many times. And just one, two, three, four... Yeah, seven points. Still have my one uh, group, and we are almost done. As white, I wouldn't have responded to this move because, uh, yeah, the code was too big. Um, I. This senti, I guess. And this one. Now looks again like this uh, invasion was not too bad because at the end I was able to get something out of it. Uh, yeah. And in the review, I will see whether this uh, move was any good. Uh, 
Uh, are there points on the boards? This is not a point. White was so far ahead, lost so much in endgame. Still don't know who's ahead. Um, this is not a point. This is not a point. Um, I'll just... There's, there are no codes on the board. And this one, I guess... And now we go to counting. Is it counting time? Looks like counting time. Oh, this was painful. Um, and white is still ahead. And thank you. Uh, so the 10 points were not enough. And let's disconnect and review. I'm still not 1Q, so you can, uh, so you will see more 2Q games in the future. And we have this. Obviously, if white protects and plays Joseki, then black gets uh, a third corner. And, um, you know, I don't know, white has this framework, but black kinda builds larger, all, uh, already got points. So a nice decision to play in the empty corner. So black cuts, maybe black should uh, be wary about the RG and not cut, but like some uh, pincer to develop influence. I'm not familiar with uh, letting this go, but I just cut and started to build a framework for myself. And White also started his own framework on the top, uh, Kobayashi. Maybe I should ap approach uh, the Kobayashi and we would have something like this. Uh, I approach the bottom and I really liked White's uh, pincer. Works really well with the framework at the top. And here maybe I got a little bit crazy. Uh, I thought if I place here I will have something comfortable around here and still can get into the corner. Uh, let me see. So I thought maybe something like this, which is nice uh, for black I guess. I, I like this for black. Uh, but he kicked me, which um, I don't like this move. He has this pincer stone and he loses Sente two times and lets me enclose him. So all I want is some strength here near his influence to negate it and invade it later and I actually get it. My big mistake was the invasion, um, I guess. So I get influence. And I'm not sure whether this move is that good. Maybe I should just play here. And but then I have no severe follow up. Um I don't know. I still am okay with my answer and making him live. Actually, maybe there is a better way. 
because I was just asking him how do you want to live with your stones because this move is obviously not working uh, so is this move maybe I had a better way here also, this one I don't know about. Maybe it connects though. Um, he has a weak group in my uh, sphere of influence. I still get, can get my profits. Maybe keeping his cutting stone group weak would be the way to go. But I played just safe for both sides. And just uh, got my profit. This should still be <laughs> invadable, uh, not as in the game. And he invaded me. This corner was not too big, but on the other hand, if I get influence, he is already alive here. What do I want with influence? I get nothing but just a strip of stones. So I decided to get the corner. And here maybe just this stone. Just uh, the usual uh, continuation. Because this one... Okay, it does work. Um, or does it? Does it work? It does not work. Still get my corner. Uh, yeah, I should have played better here. But it worked out fine in the end because of the call. Oh, wait a second. Here and here. I cut, drop down, he protects, and this move didn't didn't work, huh? I should have gone with a simple approach, because if he now goes away, um, oh wait, does it work? Um, maybe he needs to protect there once. Maybe it's a call. Uh, so, I maybe should have gone with the usual and just played here. He will capture. I will have one more forcing move. Also, I will have this one and it's actually enough um, to enough reduction but no I want it to be fancy and play it here wait play it here and as long as I don't have this move I forgot about it when I played it uh, it doesn't work because I, I'm not fast enough with the coast. And this one also. Uh, he just lets me uh, reduce him to nothing. This was an overplay by me. I guess just... Um, yeah, this was an overplay. Um, got me nowhere, I just lost points. I secure my corner for endgame, and his endgame, I mean, white is so far ahead, I uh, can't actually lose, didn't lose, but his endgame uh, got me really far. He gave me this move, 
<laughs> which I forgot uh, was important. Um, and I got nearly all the good endgame moves. Obviously my corner is tiny. And here I wanted to... show you this one. If he plays here, I will obviously need to protect. If he continues, do I capture the stone? Maybe. Maybe it works. So, sorry, maybe uh, maybe it didn't, didn't go well for him anyway. Okay, maybe still uh, it doesn't work for white. I'm sorry, I misread there in the game, I think. But yeah, now uh, I think this was a nice profit for me. And this one... This move after this exchange really should be here. Then he does need to worry about capturing those stones, losing 4 points and so on. But it wasn't. It was here and I started the co thingy. Here I guess maybe he should just really uh, kill me off. Or this way. So I just take and take, and I got just like eight points or so, and not ten. <laughs> uh, but he answered. So now I, I in the game, I was wondering about this move. Uh, if he does not, uh, you know, answer it, just uh, wait. Is this the right moment? He does not answer, but uh, what does he do? Uh, wait a second. I need to rethink. Yes, he doesn't answer, but capture my stones, <laughs> of course. Uh, this cuts, first of all. Uh, this way works for black. This way works for black. So cutting is not a valid idea. If you play here, then I will just connect. But then white, then we will have another call. So I was afraid of that. I traded a huge call for a small call. Or can I still Play something like this and get away with it? Mm, I don't. I can't. Mm. And yeah, this is even worse. So I did right not to play this move, I guess. But I did wrong not to start the call really, really soon. Uh, as there were larger points on the board and not just the 10 points here. Uh, and yeah, this was the game. Oh. I played... No, I didn't play the... Why doesn't it... Ah, yes. Now some endgame, 
and from here it's basically over maybe though maybe I should have uh, not played this move but this one myself uh, obviously white connects and I need to capture those stones but that's fine that's uh, not a problem I think this move was bigger and we have this and the score estimator says Oh, sorry, not score estimator. Um, here. Still uh, a win for white. So, no big points lost there. But yeah, basically, uh, white was ahead in the game really early. And I managed at the end to get some goals and some points, but it wasn't enough. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the game, and see you next time.